this is something that hopefully happens a lot in our minds. It certainly does in mine and in many of you, I know. Uh, whenever you see something or you hear something or you think about something and actually say, hmm, that's, that's something that is interesting and it would be, it would be good to see in Planet 4. There is actually a place uh, which is uh, this page in Planet 4, which is called Improved Planet 4, and there is a very nice uh, idea push board. You need to be logged in and submit your idea. Uh, and it's, it's been there since we launched Planet 4. So it was part of all the implementation plans. And it's something that we, uh, uh, that we keep on pushing because we really believe in community generated ideas. So let's say that uh, ideally you or someone in your office has told you that this exists. Uh, you go there and you create your idea. Unfortunately, what happens most of the time is that when you create your ideas, it just, you know, it stays there for a long time. Uh, nothing happens and, uh, uh, well, not, nothing happens, but really very little happens uh, over the course of time. And this is due to multiple reasons. <clears throat> so this is what happens now. This is the, the current workflow. Don't, don't focus too much on this because we change it. It's just to show you uh, that uh, basically the main, uh, well, the, old, the old process, which is this one that we shaped when we implemented the plan for is, um, the main problem of this process is that what happens in the upper part, which is the yes, let's do the idea, it's all in the hands of the Planet 4 team, uh, which, as you may guess, has limited resources and they have to do a lot of other things that are also related to core and other things. Okay, and obviously, um, as some challenges, but we will see the challenges uh, later on, like in a second. Okay, nevertheless. Uh, so far in 2020, this process, <clears throat> as low as it may be, as outdated as it may be, it already delivered five ideas uh, during the course of this year. The share on WhatsApp button, the visible, the, uh, the prominently visible donate button on mobile. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, the opportunity to click anywhere, so a redesign on the take action covers. <clears throat> uh, custom URLs on our thank you pages and custom landing if you want, after uh, people sign one of the engaging networks form and uh, uh, the, all the work delivered around Optimo. Along with uh, uh, these five ideas, four are currently being uh, developed uh, either by the Planet 4 team or by contributors, one of, we, one of whom is Vilena, that is helping, is working with the Planet 4 team for uh, this show and hide or accordion plugin, call it however you prefer. Um, so five ideas delivered, Four currently on the way. There is also the carousel header uh, on the WYSIWYG, which will allow you to easily swap uh, items. Um, there is also the opportunity to have like the different uh, take action buttons individually editable uh, when they are all part of the same of the same cover block and uh, uh, videos as page and background being grouped block. However, five plus four, it's nine ideas out of 55 that we currently have in our board, which is you know, uh, it's really proceeding at a slower pace and we would love to change that. Uh, so what happened basically is that the council got together and the council is, uh, 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 it's a space um, that, uh, that sits down regularly every month uh, with the membership from, uh, well, obviously the Planet 4 product owner, which is Susie, myself, uh, um, Kelly, Oscar, Stefan, Liz, Kishi, Guilherme, uh, Yusuke, Luke, people across all the uh, time zones, uh, and basically sit down and explore the challenges um, in a very uh, in a very productive way, in my opinion. Um, so what happened is that we identified four main challenges. The first one is that uh, obviously the decisional process is too slow, as we all know, as we all. So before with a little tumbleweed, uh, it's it's not clear why an idea is yes a way an idea is is a no. Uh, it's even actually too slow uh, for an arrows to uh, to help with the implementation. And sometimes or most of the times, it ends up being implemented in one and arrow only. That has the luck to have development capacity because most of arrows don't. And, uh, and and this in overall uh, ends up in people losing. Uh, the trust of the overall process. If it's too slow, why bother, you know? The second main challenge is that actually, if 
the idea is approved, it takes like really, really, really long time uh, to, to actually become reality. You know, it takes uh, between uh, the four and the six months, which is like a, a, an eternity. And uh, uh, there are multiple reasons uh, for that as well. Um, it's not, most of the ideas are not actually priorities for uh, client for core. So they end up as being like a nice to have. Uh, before design is, is two people, really one people and a half, and often is a bottleneck in this because it has to do so many other things at the same time before focusing on that. So that ends up as being uh, one of the one of the reasons that slows the whole um, the whole process down. And overall, also all the tickets are are out of sight of the contributors. So both the people that are part of our GitHub repository and the contributors in terms of client for development. Uh, holders. The third reason uh, is that the whole process that we are going to see now in a second is not really engaging, right? So uh, people uh, not really are pitching their ideas and when they do, nothing happens. Uh, the, the voting, uh, um, the, the ideas of going back to the board and vote uh, is something that doesn't happen. And, uh, and uh, by that reason, all the ideas that are there since two years have like more votes in the long run, which may, you know, uh, actually sometimes provide a false, uh, false attitude. So uh, a false, excuse me, a, a false experience, because the fact that they are all that means that they got more votes and they are not really perhaps the most popular at the moment. Uh, the fact that the process is not engaging results in the fact that we don't speak. So we don't discuss multiple ideas could be merged, could be one thing, and that the fact that there is not this space of, uh, uh, of discussion within the ideas generators ends up in multiple ideas just drop there. Uh, and, and yeah, not really much engagement from, uh, from the community. The last uh, uh, challenge that we have is that it, all the ideas are in the same board. So there's not really a, okay, I, would, I really need that uh, to, uh, um, to do my day-to-day -day work, to do my day-to-day -day work better. Uh, or I would love that. It's a cool idea, but it's not urgency. So there's not really this type of distinction, which is really useful. Uh, why? Because it really provides the Planet 14 and the Council the real use case in the NRO's life. So that's something that is missing. Uh, however, we have a solution or we have an idea for a solution, um, which is the following. So the first one, uh, it's a cleanup of the existing ideas. Uh, we sit down with Applied for Team, uh, so with Susie, the product owner, and Magali, the design lead, and we decline 21 ideas out of 55. So the idea is to just uh, go through all of them, and we did it, and it's already done, and go through all of them and actually assess them. Is this in scope? Uh, yes or no? And uh, Or is this aligned with our standards, like in terms of accessibility or technology? Uh, so we did that and there were 21 ideas that were really not going in the same direction. So we just declined them. And uh, uh, the second part is what is currently happening every Friday, which I hope you have seen in the Applied for General uh, Slack channel. We group ideas uh, that they are um, semantically uh, related, so to say. So they are about the same area, admin experience, editor experience, You'll see what happens tomorrow. Um, and the idea is for people, everyone, because everyone can vote in idea push. So everyone should be able to vote in Slack easily uh, to just revamp this voting mechanism and actually reassess what people feel. Um, you see, like if you, uh, if you need this idea, oh, sorry. If you need this idea, you should vote with a little hands, uh, the little green heart if, it's, it's, it's a cool one, but I really don't need that one. And uh, if, you are, uh, if you don't see this happening in your NRO because you don't understand the need, there is this little thinking I face. Uh, and, uh, um, and, uh, and this is very important for us because uh, the, uh, uh, the hands up votes actually turn into actual votes of idea push. Uh, obviously uh, not if the idea originator vote for his, her or their own idea, it, it doesn't really go into the idea push because when you submit an idea, you already have your vote. So, you know, um, the, uh, uh, the little heart uh, will go into what I'm just going to show you in a second. So the common 
discussion, so they assess the popularity, and the little um, uh, not sure thinking phase votes uh, will actually go into the regular plan for uh, assessment of whether this should stay in the 2021 list or not. Okay, everything okay so far? Not hearing any? Okay, good, good. Um, cool, so this is what's gonna happen next year. So step one and step two is the cleanup of the board. And this is the new process. Now don't, it's don't over, I'm gonna walk you through each step of this. It looks unnecessarily complicated, but trust me, it's not. It's much simpler than the first one. And you can actually also have a look at yourself. It's a Google drawing that I'm just going to send you. Uh, but I am also going to uh, walk you through each step of it. So that's the one. Uh, it's a new process that uh, obviously brings in some stuff, simplifies a lot. Uh, the good thing is that it doesn't change anything when it comes to creating a submitting an idea. The tool is the same. Uh, we thought that uh, proposing a new process and proposing a new tool is a bit too much because this is something that happens on top of your day-to-day -day work life. And so that's a bit too much. So good news, don't have to change anything. Still go to the uh, uh, handbook, still go to the idea push and uh, uh, if you have an idea, ideally there should be a clean board, so maximum 20 ideas open for voting. <clears throat> and if an idea that you need is already there, as usual, please take the time to vote for it because there will be something happening with the vote. If it's not, feel free to log in and create one. The new stuff, and that's something that is really, uh, we are launching it and we are proposing it, uh, is that, uh, we take some space every two weeks with the community, 30 minutes to discuss. 30 minutes every two weeks, we sit down every other Thursday. I'm gonna show you our proposal. Uh, we sit down very informally and we discuss the ideas that are more popular, the new ones, and, uh, and we just get together and see, explore what kind of problems we are trying to solve, how we see this happen, uh, if there is a MLP, so a minimum viable product, uh, or what would be the best case scenario, all this stuff. So we try to foster this, uh, this discussion uh, that is not happening right now. The idea is to have it every other Thursday, a 30 minutes that will be set in your calendars as this, as this call it is. And uh, uh, we are going to do it in alternate time zones. Okay. So there will be, so for example, the second Thursday of the month would be the Europe, Asia, Oceania session in this slot, so 8 a.m. Europe. Um, and the fourth Thursday, there would be the America session, 5 p.m. and of course in the morning. Uh, now this, uh, as usual and unfortunately, gives European folks the option to attend two sessions in a month. Uh, but normally that should give people uh, enough flexibility uh, to at least join once a month. I don't think it's a big commitment, 30 minutes once a month. Um, once every, once one Thursday a month, sorry. Uh, and yeah, and that's what happens. We just get together and uh, even iterate this process. If at some point we realize that 30 minutes is not enough, we can just go to 45 or whatever we feel like, go every three weeks. So the whole point is to regroup regularly to discuss ideas and pitch for them and stuff like that. What happens once we discuss, let's say Nick and Iberg and maybe, maybe a few other NROs have a good idea, a pitch for it, it's popular, it's, uh, it's, there is a common agreement that this has to happen, it's clear, requirements are clear. What happens is that if there is any uh, specific uh, technical preparation work, so for example, if there is a plugin that could solve it, there should be a pre-selection of the plugin in this case. Uh, so this happens and, uh, oh, excuse me. And uh, the whole, uh, the idea is brought to the council, which happens once a month. And the council, so the a space of NROs plus the product owner decides whether this idea is something that will be part of core or not, or part of client for or not. That's, that's the result of this discussion. Because if it's not, we are not gonna spend more time on it. We're not gonna spend more time discussing it. It goes against 
whatever the vision of client for or the technology we want to do or the accessibility standards that we have. So if it's a no, it's a no. If it's a yes, then that's the good thing. Because if it's a yes, uh, there is the decision that has to come out from the council on who needs to build it. And that's the case that you wanted, that you were asking before, Nick. There is uh, a, the possibility of NROs clustering together and do this piece of work about this specific idea because, I don't know, they need it more urgently in their region. Right, so there is this possibility. There is the possibility also that the Planet 4 team works on it. And ideally, out of the council, there should be uh, a level of priority based on this idea. If this idea has a time constraints, uh, for example, I don't know, Fridays for Future, a big event is happening and this idea has to be ready by then, obviously the priorities of the Planet 4 team have to, have to change because we live in a uh, resource constrained time. Uh, and that would be the two internal way of doing this idea of making it happen, cluster of NROs or one NRO piloting uh, multiple solutions over here or the Planet 4 team or the Planet 4 team and some NROs. It really, that's the internal people doing it or uh, the idea if we are interested, it's not really a mega high priority as of now, it can stay there. It goes in the contributor queue. So everyone that has a GitHub access can pick it up uh, or um, yeah, if an NRO has development uh, uh, capacity, it goes into the, it goes into the contributor queue. And somehow, so regardless on who develops it, somehow, if this idea is a yes, uh, it ends up being part of Planet 4. I want is just to foster the discussion, this spirit on how can we make it happen together and not just merely, barely and simply leave the choice in the hands of the Planet 4 team. Because that's not how it's supposed to be. This is supposed to be like a community generated product. Uh, and not only, I mean, obviously there has to be a vision, there has to be a product owner, a, the owner of the backlog, a, a tech lead and stuff like that, but um, it has to go two ways as we were discussing before. So yes, that's what happens. The council would determine whether we, uh, we want this to happen in Client 4 or not, uh, and by whom it should happen somehow at different level of velocity, depending who builds it, the idea ends up in Planet 4, ideally, <clears throat> and uh, a case study, so what actually changed, it could be a very simple handbook blog post on what this problem solved uh, ends up in the handbook. What we can uh, guarantee in, when it comes back to also like being slow as a process currently, is that the choice say, from generation to yes, we are going to do it and his one is going to happen next, happens in a month. Uh, obviously, we cannot say how much it takes uh, from actually when we decide to reality because there is so many variables, but the outcome would be in a month. Uh, there is only one thing that we need to make it happen, obviously, and this the most basic thing. It's just us. There's nothing else. There's no magic behind that. We need to sit down together and, uh, uh, and discuss the requirements and discuss what's this idea is going to solve, how can we make it better? Is there a, an easy way to, or a fast way to do, to achieve that? A simpler way, a technical, technically easier one? And uh, yeah, that's my end of my presentation. I went a bit over time, but uh, I guess it was worth the discussion.